Hi and welcome to Themeco. In the last video, we discussed about calculating the position vector of a particle or a point using both the global and local coordinate systems. However, one thing remained pending. What was the purpose of the angle theta a? This angle measures the orientation of the local coordinate system with respect to the global coordinate system. By the end of the video, you will finally be able to construct the position vector of a particle or a point as an expert would do it. One of the challenges of trying to construct the position vector only using the components of the global coordinate system was that sometimes it's difficult to know the value of these components. In this case, it might also be difficult to know the value of u bar x bar ap and u bar y bar ap components in the global system. How do these body components look like in the global reference system? It doesn't look promising. It looks kind of complex. But wait, it changes in proportion to theta a. Aha! Uh -huh. This is the moment I've been waiting for. For sure, it is easier to know the fixed distance between point P and the origin of the local coordinate system. For example, if we call this fixed distance D, and we construct the local vectors u bar x bar ap and u bar y bar ap using this distance, then we'll have u bar x bar ap equals d dot cos alpha bar a and u bar y bar ap equals d dot sine alpha bar a. Alpha bar a is the angle between vector u bar ap and axis x bar a. Now considering both angles alpha bar a and theta a, we could write the components as some of their individual contributions to each one of the axes on the global coordinate system. First, we calculate the components of the local position vector u bar ap in terms of the distance d and the angle alpha bar a. The results are represented by the blue arrows. Then these components are projected into the axis of the global coordinate system. Let's take the component u bar x bar ap. Notice how this component has projections on both axes x and y represented by d dot cos alpha bar a dot cos theta a and d dot cos alpha bar a dot sine theta a respectively. Similarly, the component u bar y bar ap also has projections on x and y. d dot sine alpha bar a dot cos theta a and d dot sine alpha bar a dot sine theta a. Finally, the global components u x a p and u y a p can be written as u x a p equals d dot cos alpha bar a dot cos theta a minus d dot sine alpha bar a dot sine theta a and u y a p equals d dot cos alpha bar a dot sine theta a plus d dot sine alpha bar a dot cos theta a. We can write the same equations as u x a p equals u bar x bar a p cos theta a minus u bar y bar a p sine theta a. u y a p equals u bar x bar a p sine theta a plus u bar y bar a p cos theta a. Let's do more. Let's write it in matrix form. We get uxap uyap equals cos theta a minus sine theta a sine theta a cos theta a u bar x bar ap u bar y bar ap. Now we know how to relate the components on a local coordinate system to those on a global coordinate system. But before we finish, take a look at the matrix. Cos theta a minus sine theta a sine theta a cos theta a. This matrix is known as the rotation matrix. We will be calling this the matrix AA. This matrix helps us to map the local coordinates onto global coordinates. Now in more compact form, UAP equals AA U bar AP. We have the position vector of a point located on a body represented completely in the global coordinate system. RAP equals RA plus AA U bar AP. Let's recap. In this video, we finally got the final form 
of the position vector of a point in the global reference system. Also, we understood why we need to be careful with the way we define such important terms like the position vector of a particle or point. And it was mainly because its derived quantities, velocities and accelerations depend fully on it. Even more important is not to mix vectors represented in the local and global coordinate systems. It can be a total mess. In our course, we aim to use most of these vectors in the global frame of reference. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.